Hey, welcome back to Fi Kitchen with Mari and Phil, and today we are serving up some honey walnut shrimp. If you like Panda Express, say less. But hey, before we jump into our content, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Y'all know where to look. Check the description box for the measurements and the ingredients. But let's cook our noodles. Cook as directed on the package. We cook this for a one to two minutes for our chow mein noodles. Drain your noodles and set them to the side. But here we have three pounds of colossal shrimp. Add some salt and pepper and mix it well. Let's hop into the tempura batter. Take some flour and cornstarch. Add that in with one yolk and season it with salt and pepper. From there, you want to use about one cup of soda water, but when you do pour in your soda water, just leave a little bit to the side so as you are mixing it, you can build the consistency that you're looking for. Take the last bit of the soda water and add it to get this consistency, as you can see here, nice and smooth. Add two egg whites to the batter and whisk as well. And this exactly what the end result should be. So combine the shrimp and the tempura batter that you just made. And just take a little bit to coat the shrimp and let's get ready to fry it up. Add a quarter of vegetable oil and once the wok gets nice and hot, add your shrimp and cook on each side for two to three minutes and then you'll get a golden, nice crust just like this. There it is. Mm. So now let's clean out the wok and add one tablespoon of butter and one teaspoon of olive oil. Add about one cup of walnuts and we want to toast it and add two tablespoons of brown sugar, also one tablespoon of water. And let's turn up the heat just a notch and add one tablespoon of honey and allow it to simmer until it thickens. And this is what you'll get. On to the honey cream glaze. So add your mayonnaise and your condensed milk. Also add your honey. Again, all of the measurements are in the description box. Once you add your honey, just really smoothen it out with a spatula or if you have a whisk or if you have a mixer. Again, on Fight Kitchen, we try to use tools and gadgets that we believe every household may have. Add one teaspoon of salt and pepper and squeeze a half a lemon until you get about one tablespoon of lemon juice and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. All right, to my favorite part, add one tablespoon of olive oil, add your celery and one sliced head of cabbage. You could cut the slices how you prefer. We just try to keep it aligned with what you typically see at Panda Express. And do not cook it until it's welted. Leave a crunch to it and add one tablespoon of sugar, three teaspoons of soy sauce, and just toss it. Ooh, it's time. So add your chow mein. The portion size is for five individuals. So just add as much as you like. You can never go wrong with eating chow mein. So let's go ahead and season our chow mein. Add some soy sauce, some sesame oil, and some oyster sauce. And be sure to toss all of the ingredients around and let's get ready to plate it up. If you made it this far, we appreciate you all for watching. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Let's get a nice bowl out. Add as much chow mein as you like. I love chow mein. I'll stuff and stack all day. Toss up your shrimp with your honey glaze sauce and walnuts. And this is it. Now that's five.